Well, hello there, fellow crafters. It's me, Touche. Today, I want to talk to you about stash creating. Now, I just gave it that title because I was looking for something else a couple of days ago, and I came across a stash that had not been touched, and their kits. Oh my God, it's like shopping in your own craft room. If you've ever done that before, you know how that feels. That's a really good, positive feeling because it kind of stimulates you a little bit and make you feel like, okay, God, let me get back into doing something or making something, and I don't really know what I want to make. And so I decided I was going to share with you some of the kits that I came across. And you know what? Some of these kits are two, three years old. And you know, like they say, out of sight, out of mind. So let's start with the first kit here. Um, I couldn't really tell you when I purchased this kit. It is, uh, the brand on it is SEI LTD Limited Edition. So on the front, you can see a little box with some uh, chipboard in it. Uh, they're die cut chipboards. And so when I looked at it, I thought, why did I buy this? And then when I flipped it over, this is what I saw. Look at that. Isn't that cool? What's so nice about these kits is they give you instructions and they tell you how to do it. And guess what? It's a two-page layout. And if you're like me, I'm hoping I'm not showing you too much glare, but if you're like me, you like uh, doing a two-page layout when you do your, your um, scrapping. So I'm looking forward to working on this. So this, I brought it out. And, you know, I learned a long time ago when I was working, um, a friend, a co-worker told me the best way to get rid of a lot of things is touch it once, which means you're either going to keep it or you're going to toss it. So I touched it. And guess what that means? That means I've got to create it. So that's no problem. We can do that. Let me share with you another kit that I have that I came across. I got quite a few of them. Here's another one. This is really cool. And this is by Quick Quotes. You know, you can go online with Quick Quotes and order, like, you know, all of their, um, uh, their uh, chalking ink, the powder puff chalking ink. I got in a, in a frizzy one day and decided I wanted to order a lot of their different colors because a lot of their kits require or recommend that you use, you know, their chalking powder which is pretty cool. This uh, kit here says that it's quick and it's easy. And it's, uh, you know what, it, it's a notepad. That's what it is. And the canvas is included. Everything you need is included in there. Look how cool that is. That's the canvas right there. Yeah, pretty cool. So that's gonna be interesting to work on. Then I came across another kit. And this is also by Quick Coats. It's called Premier Altered Kit. What I got fascinated about this was, guess what? Look at that. You can make this with three canvas panels and then you can take them and attach them to a uh, ribbon. I'll show you what's included in the kit. And it has photos. And the colors on this I thought was fantastic because my haul recently was painted these colors. The cream color with the... Um, I guess you can call it like a uh, like a taupe for the trim for the um, uh, the ceiling, not the ceiling, but the crown molding is what I'm trying to say. The crown molding in the hallway, and I have a God that hallway's got to be at least 15 feet long. And what I want to do is I want to take the wall and I want to put family photos up there, and this would be gorgeous. So what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to create it and I am going to look through my um, my stack of photos and see which photos would be appropriate for this. Let me turn it over so you can take a look at what's included. Look at that. You've got all of these um, embellishments and there's the ribbon that you're going to hang the photos on. The directions, the canvases. Here's one that's in front. And let's see if I can move this so I can shake it down out of the way. If I'm going to the way pretty much. Uh, I'm not having any luck with this. Hold on just a second. There we go. Now I moved it out of the way. Now you can see some of the other embellishments that come along with it that you can decorate. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. Oh my goodness. 
I love the colors. But these are the colors that are in my hallway, these two colors. The wall is the light color, and the crown molding is the darker color. That's going to be fabulous. I'm excited. Okay, and then I came across another kit. It looks like I opened this kit just to make sure all the pieces was in there because the top part is, is uh, exposed. But it's okay. But this is what this one is about. Summer sunshine. Hey, we're into summer right now. Might as well create something. These kits are quick. And you know, sometimes you need something quick where you don't have to stop and think about what it is you want to create. You need to get your mojo going. And sometimes that's what I need. I just need something that's going to get me busy moving. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're creating on your own. This is going to be a very nice kit to work with. Okay. And... I don't know the space of where to stash this behind me. There we go. This is another kit that I came across. I know you're probably thinking by now, how come you have so many kits? Well, I went to a seminar uh, about three years ago down in Palm Springs, and it was for quick quotes. And um, they give you a goodie bag, and they're loaded with kits. And then, of course, you buy others while you're there. So this is another one that is beautiful. Look at those two-page layouts. Actually, in this one, you get two sets of two-page layouts. So you're actually getting four. You're getting four pages. So that that's going to be kind of fun to decorate with. Yeah, I like that. Another nice kit. Okay, put that on another side. Okay, and now we're down to another quick quote. It's got four pages to it, just like the one I just showed you before. Beautiful colors. This one is called The Best Day. Wow. You can't get any easier than this. I mean, you know, once you look at what you have to work with and how the picture is right there on the front to show you what it looks like and what it's supposed to be like. Isn't that fabulous? And then, let's see if I can turn this over. Oh, this one does not show all of the um, in all of the embellishments, but that's okay. I got all of my paperwork and everything in there. It's probably in between, and I'll get a chance to um, do a little bit of embellishment on my own. Those are pretty, pretty papers. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and then we have the final one. And the one good thing about this, uh, finding this stash, is they were all in one spot. So that was pretty cool. And they were stacked in a container. I gave the container to my uh, brother-in-law because uh, he had uh, had a birthday recently. And um, I, my husband and I bought him the Spectrum Noir um, coloring book set because he's he used to be a teacher he's retired now and uh, he's starting all of a sudden getting interested in coloring and he was buying all the wrong tools so we kind of stepped in and bought him some good alcohol markers and coloring books and oh my god he was so excited so the reason why I'm telling you this story is that's how I found my stash because they were in a container he didn't have anything to put his all of his coloring uh, utensils in. So I said, why don't you get a container? I said, you know what? I have one. I have an extra one. So I took one of my plastic clear 12 by 12 containers and opened it up and just pulled everything out so I so that he could use it so that he could put all of his uh, coloring, uh, his coloring books, his pencils, coloring pencils, his markers. I said, keep it in one space, in one spot. Or, or one container and then when you get ready to color you got everything you need right there just pop it open and pull out what you want to work on and you say you know I never really thought about that I say yeah organization is key and for those of you who don't really get that you need to focus on some of the craft room tours I did a two-part craft room tour you can take a look at mine I didn't go into a lot of details about what was stored where but if you see on my craft scrap room tour you'll see that I've got containers that are labeled. And in the morning time, I get up, I come into the room, I get my little basket, I start loading up the tools I'm gonna need, I go over to my workstation, I sit down, and I play. I have a great craft day, okay? So this is the last kit. And um, here we go with just a two-page layout, neck that cool? And again, it has instructions on the reverse side and it has all the paperwork and everything I need, and I can always embellish with anything extra that I might want to put on this page. All right? I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that um, this will 
uh, inspire you to be creative. We all go through that uh, part in our lives where, you know, some days we're very active and we're very creative. And then some days we are just completely out of sorts. A little paper fell down. But I just wanted to make sure that you had an opportunity um, to hear where I'm coming from as far as being able to relate to you about having stuff that is brand new that's never been used. So start digging in your scraps or start digging in your stash. So this is Touche saying for you to make it a creative day. Take care.